Hey guys, this is Gaijin Hunter, and I wanted to do a video updating you guys on my sets from the Dual Blades, the Raging Claws, which I love, and the Rampage Hunting Horn, because I made sets on these, I made videos, and it seems that a good amount of people are enjoying them as well. And with Update 2.0 and just some extra learning since I've started using them, I've managed to improve these sets by quite a bit. Of course, sets are dependent on your charm, so you may not be able to make the exact same set as me, or you may not want to. Uh, I'm sure there's plenty of room for customization and improvement and probably some things that I've not realized as well. So make sure to just use this as reference uh, and just have fun with your own sets and your own play style. Uh, this, of course, some people have asked is a dance gesture, which you can buy in the DLC pack uh, for number two. It is pretty expensive. Uh, at least I just bought the whole pack. It was like $30, um, but it, the dances are very nice and they're very long this time, actually. So anyways, without further ado, I'm going to jump in and start with the dual blades. I will put timestamps in the video so you can jump to the hunting horn if that is what you are interested in. Um, so the set that I'm using now for this, uh, of course, just a quick refresher. The raging dual blades are awesome. 190 uh, with handicraft level one. It gets just a sliver of white sharpness, um, some paralysis and a level three slot minus 10 affinity. The big thing about these scenes, of course, is it's unique rampage uh, or ramp up skill, which is Helion mode. Uh, which makes it so that when you go into demon mode, um, all of your affinity is 100%. So every single hit you do is going to be critical. So we're using that to great effect, of course, with protective polish is how I run this thing. Uh, so I decided to go straight for all out attack. So I got attack boost seven, critical boost three, since we're always doing critical hits, that's 40% damage up. Protective polish three, which means when we sharpen, we get 90 seconds of unlimited white sharpness. Uh, speed sharpening three so we can just do that really quickly handicraft level one uh, stun resistance I had to drop from three to one not ideal but actually stun resistance level one is still very very good um, it reduces the stun by about 60% which generally means that you're able to get out of the way before the monster does their super one hit kill so to say to a stunt hunter and I do have flinch free level one the big difference here is Yuna really opened my eyes to marathon hunt runner um, this thing is really important for the set because the whole idea is that you want to go ham on the monster, right? Um, so all you got to do is sharpen up here really fast. And you want to be able to just stay in demon mode and do lots of damage. And she made me realize that Marathon Runner 3 allows you to stay in this mode for a very, very long time. Um, you see just the drain on my stamina. It's almost nothing. Even with dashes, it's not that bad. Um, if you have a really good charm, maybe you'd be able to get some constitution on here as well. Um, the only thing that really eats through stamina a little bit is the dashes and if you do the aerial attack and you press a which is really good against like long monsters um, it does take a good chunk of your stamina but for the most part you're able to really utilize this mode to go crazy on a monster um, it's just crazy how long you can stay uh, in demon mode with this then of course when you're done uh, beating on the monster you can go over here and just quick sharpen up and tring and we get 90 seconds now of more goodness and we're constantly in critical mode. Now, one of the other changes I did was I was running mind's eye on this thing and I realized that it's really not necessary. The big reason here being, of course, is that you're in white sharpness all the time and there's almost no monster parts in which you're going to be bouncing. See here, I'm not even in demon mode and I'm not bouncing because I have white sharpness. If this goes down to blue, I'll start bouncing. Uh, of course, I think demon flurry and of course, um, go into mode here and the blade dance have natural mind's eye anyways and I do run this thing with the aerial switch skill which means that it has natural mind's eye as well um, so it really didn't make any sense for me to be running mind's eye on my set the extra 30% damage is nice and all but for a weapon like the dual blades where if you're hitting at like a weak spot you're only doing 8-9 damage anyways you, you shouldn't be hitting those spots or like getting an additional one or two damage here and there is not a really big deal Especially when you hit weak spots and you're getting like 70 on every hit like these things here uh, It's just not that important at least in my opinion uh, The way that I'm running these switch skills. Let me show you really quickly here Is I am using uh, demon flight uh, This allows you to jump up in the air um, and do those aerial strikes. This gets a lot of hits in, so it's really good for getting that paralysis. And as you saw before, it does really good damage. Uh, the Feral Demon mode, I did a video on this. You definitely want to be using it because it's got the hidden attack up bonus. We got 254 now, and when we go into this mode, 
it's 295. So it's a really big increase in attack damage. So you definitely want to be using Feral Demon Mode with this as well. And I do have the Piercing Bind. However, for flying monsters, I do enjoy using Tower Vault. It just throws you up in the air really high. And then you can hit the A button to do sort of like your aerial spinny move. Uh, but Piercing Bind, of course, is good. So both of these are good. Just choose whichever preference you like. And that's pretty much how I run my set now. Uh, let me show you my armor pieces and how I deck this out. So I'm using the Sinister Helm Vike Mail, which is awesome. Rathalos Braces and the Anjanaf Coil and Greaves. I do have an attack boost three with one slot. Uh, so you could actually do this exact same set and just sort of like lower the attack if you don't have attack boost three with a one slot, or maybe you've got something even better. Uh, and of course the decorations I have in here, and this is really what update 2.0 is all about is crafting decorations. It'll take you a long time. You'll need those Lazarite jewels, which you'll get from the apex monsters uh, in standalone quests and stuff like that. Uh, so I have a sharpness. I, I think I have three sharpness, so that gives me the protective polish. Um, I do have um, three critical jewels, which give me the critical boost. And then I have uh, one sprinter, um, which I because the Anjanap Greaves here have two Marathon Runner already. And then just the grinder, and that gives me everything I need. So it's a very fun set, very cool, and I hope you check it out. It's very fun. Okay, moving on, it's time to talk about my favorite Rampage Hunting Horn. This can be upgraded into Rampage Horn 5, and I do believe the next update will probably give us Rampage Horn 6, which is even crazy if you think about it. Uh, but this added one new sharpness, uh, different choice, which I really like. So I want to show you off my recent set. Now, this one does have a very good charm on there, um, so you will be able to customize this depending on what you have. Um, but the big difference that I've done here is with the ramp up skill. So if I choose ramp up skill and go over to my hunting horn, you'll notice that now is a sharpness type three once you upgrade this to level five. What level three is, is basically very long blue with 200 sharpness. We were using sharpness type one before, which allowed us with handicraft to get into white sharpness uh, in 210. But honestly, just having long blue is perfect for the hunting horn. And I think it opens up the sort of the set so you can have in a lot of quality of life skills. We are still using this with non-elemental boost for that uh, sort of attack power boost here, plus 10, and the healing melody, which gives us the awesome healing abilities. Of course, you don't have to run this as a healing horn if you don't want to, but this is how I enjoy it. And of course, a big refresher, the reason why I use this hunting horn, let me quick uh, get some self-improvement in here, is with the Beat of Resonance, we are giving up that amazing Earthshaker um, attack, which does huge damage. Um, but if we do the beads and it just leaves this little bead on the ground, it does mimic the songs that we have and it does give us attack up. So I can play this and get attack up, which is great. Um, that buffs me and everybody around me. That's 280. That's very powerful. And the cool thing is, is that it'll play any song that I play. Now, normally, if I do something like health regeneration and it plays it again, that's kind of like pointless, right? You don't need to have that twice. Earplugs, it's not going to stack or anything. So you may be asking yourself, OK, well, what's the point? There's a few really important points. One, of course, is that if it, the monster is anywhere near it, uh, whenever you play a song, it'll do a little shock wave, and so it'll damage the monster. That is fixed damage, so it is just a nice little bonus. Of course, that's not your main attack. That's not how you're going to be hunting monsters. Um, but the big one here is the health recovery L. Uh, so when I play two X buttons in a row, uh, because I'm using performance mode, it goes ahead and does two heals, which is actually quite a bit for everybody around you. And with this set, I am running it with recovery up level three. So I heal a just insane amount um, and I can pretty much never die. It's kind of like the immortal set. So the way I'm running this set now, um, of course, is with the long blue sharpness is how I like to run it. And now because I am no longer using handicraft and razor sharp, that opens me up to sort of go crazy with the skills. I'm running this with critical boost three and weakness exploit three, which I want to talk about. Uh, a lot of guides will say, well, you don't need to run Weakness Exploit on Hunting Horn because the Shockwave's attacks are fixed damage and they're not going to benefit at all from it. And I think that it's taking into consideration that a lot of people like to spam attack this horn, which is pretty much do a perform, repositioning using the A, spam perform, and like the majority of your damage, like half of it, is going to be from just spamming Shockwave's. Um, or you're doing the Earth Shaker a lot, which is Shockwave as well. I don't play the Hunting Horn like that. Um, I really enjoy all the different moves. So I like to play it traditional. I like to smack around the head. I like to do a variety of attacks. 
you know, KO, stun the monster, uh, get around into position, smack them, you know, uh, it's a more traditional way of playing the weapon. Um, so I definitely appreciate the critical boost and the weakness exploit because I am always attacking the head of a monster with this weapon. I'm very aggressive and I like to get KOs and exhaust, which is another reason why you'll see that on my set I'm using Slugger 3 and Stamina Thief 3. If you had to choose between the two, I think Stamina Thief is probably the more ideal one, only because Slugger uh, level 3 will give you about one extra KO, perhaps two, uh, during a hunt, but Stamina Thief will definitely work better for exhausting the monster faster, so if you had to, if it was a give up and you had to choose, maybe I'd go with Stamina Thief. And of course, Recovery Level 3 is definitely how I use this set. Uh, Stun Resistance 3, because I can fit it on there. And Flinch Free, I probably don't need. I'm, I'm assuming Self-Improvement probably has that already on there. But I like it anyways. And Horn Maestro, you don't want to forget that. That will boost um, your, so uh, your Shockwaves. Um, so let me show you the set I'm using. It's quite um, hefty. The charm that I have is Recovery Up 2. Uh, with two level two slots, which is a little crazy. I was very lucky in how I got that uh, But I am using the Baroth Helm, Rathian Mail, Anjanath Braces and the Coil and Rajang Pants Way I'm slotting in these decorations is one KO, one Steadfast, Critical, Brace, Drain, Sonorous, Tenderizer with two Steadfast and two more Drains and then two tenderizers on the charm. So when you see this, it looks like I have a recovery up to weakness exploit two and two slot charm. That's not it. The weakness exploit here is just decorations. What I have is a recovery up level two with two level two slots. Again, you may not have the exact same one. You could just, you know, sacrifice one level of KO here. Um, you could just, you know, avoid KO altogether. Um, you can go for a different piece um, and sort of, you know, uh, like the Antinaf here, you can go ahead and change that out if you want. Uh, we don't need to have the slugger on all these things. Uh, so yeah, play around with it. It's really fun. Uh, but this is the set that I like to enjoy. Uh, and attack level, as long as we have attack base level 4 or above, we get the nice percentage. And I think we're in good terms. And of course, just like the other set, you could reduce this to stun resistance level 1 if you needed to. And it wouldn't be the end of the world. Uh, but yeah, very fun set and how I like to use it. Okay, as a quick bonus for those of you who are still around, if you like Hunting Horn, if you just want a very good attack Hunting Horn, I still love the Bullfango one. It's pretty much my favorite. Uh, it has 230 raw, which is crazy. Just a little bit, minus 5% affinity, no big deal. With Handicraft 4, it gives you very health, healthy and workable white sharpness. Divine Protection, Knockbacks Negated, and Stun Negated means you're going to be able to go absolutely gung-ho and just go crazy on the monster uh, and just go, you know, knock it out. Um, of course, with this set, I'm going straight up full attack, so I, <laughs> 292 with white is just stupidly crazy. Uh, 485 defense is great. Um, I'm going full out attack, so I have the attack boost 6, handicraft 4, razor sharp 3, slugger stamina thief. Defense boost 3 is fantastic because it gives you that 5% uh, defense boost, which is really good. Uh, Horn Maestro 1, stun resistance 1 I think is just legacy. I think it's just on there. Ignore it because uh, you have that through the songs. This does not use the critical boost or the weakness exploit. So if you really want to, uh, you could go crazy with perform with this type of horn if you want to. It does a lot of good damage and it works out really good. Um, but I do prefer this with performance mode because I do like to keep on the onslaught of the monsters. And it just does an absolute crazy amount of damage. And the earth shaker. Oh my gosh. Watch this. 347. Push. 424 and that's even higher if you do it uh, after you do your song which gives everybody plus 20% attack It's even better. It's just unbelievable. So yeah, great horn um, I think everyone's going to imp uh, really appreciate the songs that are on here divine protection will keep everybody alive longer Knockbacks negated and stun negated it keeps everybody very aggressive um, and it can get pretty crazy online When there's four people so this horn is definitely going to be appreciated. So check this out 416 and ping 508. <laughs> you're going to be knocking out monsters a lot with the set, especially if you're using Earthshaker. Uh, let me show you how I quick did this set and then I will end the video. So for this one, I am using a, I do have a razor sharp two with three slot decorations. Uh, you may not have uh, as good of a charm, so you can go ahead and just customize as you need to. 
Of course, I am stacking attack level 6 here, so you can drop that down to 4 if you needed to, and it'd still be very good. So I got the Kushala Glare for 2 levels of Handicraft. I got a Drain on there. I go all the way down to the Kuluyaku Mail just for the 2 levels of Slugger. If Slugger's not a big deal for you, you can you don't have to use it. Uh, you can go for something else, and I put in there the Attack Jewel. Uh, Sinister for the other 2 levels of Handicraft with Attack. And Janat for Attack Boost, and I slot those in. And the Hunter's Grieve as well for the Attack Boost. And I put the Razor in there and defense on the charm. So yeah, it works out really good. Hopefully this also gives you a good idea of something that you can enjoy if you want to play a more aggressive hunting horn. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video and an update on my two favorite sets. Uh, hope you guys are enjoying the update as much as I am. And until next time, happy hunting.